Well, it looks like we're here again for another episode of some much needed boxing knowledge. Welcome once again, with no further ado, it's time to box. This week, we will continue this series in how to master the jab and what makes it such a profound skill set for those who became a master at using the jab in its proper format really understood these principles of what it gave you. And in this series, what you're going to see is the ability to use it so good that it makes you look as if you're executing the peekaboo style of boxing. But if you master these little steps, head off the center line after throwing the shot, as I'll demonstrate right here, no matter what you do, if you're a personal trainer, if you're a boxing coach, if you're a jiu-jitsu coach, if you're kickboxing or Muay Thai, if you're a dad at home working with his son, principles of a skill like this, what it does is it gives you the certificate to move on to different areas of expertise. So that's why you become a master at one thing. And through that vein, all other doors open. Wait, wait, wait. This makes no sense unless we all together get to do a skill. And this is our skill segment, 60 seconds of executing the jab drill. Now, what we're gonna do is show you the variations that go within executing the jab right in a 60 second time limit. First, you gotta bend those knees and get yourself placements, hips are in place, get up, try this drill. This will show you the progression. Hands up, elbows tucked, and you're gonna go down. Drop, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. Get deep, pop, pop. Bam, 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 pop. Here, down, 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 up. Feel it in the glutes, the thighs, two, three, up. And that is your skill drill. The next thing is your rotate. Here, two, three, up. Here, here. One, two, three, up. Execute this with prowess. Up, here, and there. You can see those knees bending. Bend your knees. Try that for three rounds, 60 seconds each round. Back to the topic at hand. Here, you're gonna see as you deliver the jab like the great Mike Tyson, the Floyd Patterson, Jose Torres. It looks so amazing. Archie Moore, great fighters. Gene Tunney, people who did not have the bigger names but were more profound in our sport. Tony Zale, the masters of body shots, head combinations, just offensive prowess out of this world. And what contributes to their greatness? Having a masterful jab and setting things up. So as you see here, we didn't just create this episode for one skill. We want to make you a master at the science of boxing. All right, with that being said, I think it's time for another intermission. 60 second skill tip. Now, before you even get going, make sure you tuck your chin. Uber important, the laws of boxing. Here, what we're gonna do is show you how to sit on the balls of your feet. A lot of you hear the term a lot, but we gotta make it make sense. So we got 60 seconds to explain it to make it make sense to you. So what we're gonna do here is get up once again and execute being on the balls of your feet as if you're step, stepping on a squishy ball and rotate. We're gonna go four, two, three, four, and turn. One, two, three, four, and rotate them hips. One, two, three, four, same thing, side view. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, three, and four. 
And what you're doing now is getting that pivot area going. And that, those balls and sockets. So on to the next, back to the topic at hand. If you like that one, make sure you do it. Three rounds minimal, one minute round, just to get warmed up before you start executing your jab. Back to the topic at hand and tuck your chin. When it comes down to one of the number one techniques is the jab. So as you see here, the jab, knees bent, balls of your heel, making sure that you're sitting down in your stance. That shift that you see fighters like Mike Tyson using, that comes from that pendulum and that torso right at the hips and the sockets and the torso where it connects. That's what you call that axis point where everything pivots. When you see them turn the shot over and come back to sender, here you'll see a technique that requires you to take the spiel from here left to right, throw, turn the elbow over. It's a beautiful, a beautiful rendition of technique. Exquisite when it comes down to becoming an artist, painting a painting like Picasso. There's so many different variations of what makes a fighter pay-per-view worthy. What makes you wanna turn the television on when you see firsthand fighters sharing a skill that's as beautiful as the Mona Lisa. All right, perfect. Now we get to show you how all of those biomechanics come into play with the jab. Here we are once again, 60 second tutorial. This is the skill drill. Let me show you specifically what it looks like and now you'll get an opportunity to get up and try this. Knees, knees bent on the balls of your feet, as we said before. The next thing is to hands up in position and you're gonna deliver the jab. And you won't just throw the jab like you see people doing typically. You're gonna throw the jab and your head will be off the line. The chin will be down and elbows tucked tight. So do it just like this. One, one, each direction. One, one. Now you see why it's so important that you allow your heel to turn. Those knees to be bent for optimal balance. And the head off the line. So get the drill warmed up like this. And you see, you're not locked down. Three rounds, one minute rounds minimal. Let's see what it feels like. Back to the topic at hand. This is getting good. Special shout out to my brothers in the School of Boxing, TSOB, work time. When you start to see all of these things come together, what you start to see is something that draws you in. You turn the jab, you turn the torso over, shot over, and when you come back, the things that we always put a lot of emphasis on are the footwork and the knees and the hips. And when they all talk, there's just this beautiful thing that happens. So elbows turn, rotate, turn the punch over, come back after that step, pull back and automatic. It's just like a rifle. It's autumn, bam, boom, boom, boom. One oh man, that is some good stuff. It's kind of hard to go to the intermission after that one. But what we gotta do is show you how to put it together and create a move off of a jab. So I think you're gonna like this. Stand up, if you're not already up, we are back to the 60 second skill drill of it's time to box. Key thing, once again, before you even get started, feet must be at 12 and two. Hands up, knees bent, got those heels going. You got the, 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 the pivot, that axis point moving is ready to go. So you, in order to make the move, you make the move off jab, jab, turn the elbow. It's 
so many things to think about, right? I told you, imagine having to come into the gym every single day. Everyone thinks you have it until you get back to the gym. Over, muscle memory is key. And you, and move the head. The principle of becoming a master is becoming a master of muscle memory. So we're gonna pivot off of that jab. One, two, good. Here, boom, one, two, three, over. One, throw a combination. Here, three, over, under. Turn to the side, jab. Put all your into motion. One, two, as you see those feet, one, two, three. Boom, one, two, three. Let me know if you got that. This is how you make the basics look so amazing and dynamic that you think you're doing a peekaboo. Ready? Off that pivot. See, pop, pop, pop. Pivot, up. Angle, head off the line. You have to do all of those things. Head pop, one, two, three. Defense, head off the line, balls of the feet, knees bent, and taking that position. Angle. So do that. 60 seconds, three rounds. There we go, off to the races. We have to pull it together and make it make sense. Remember, perfect practice makes perfect. Back to the topic at hand. One of these techniques without the other just bundles you in a world full of people who just don't understand the sweetest science of boxing. Jab out, knees bent, rotating. As you slip, your feet are coming back. All of that takes a lot of really dedicated muscle memory. So I hope you look at these techniques because I see a lot of trainers and fighters either demonstrating or they're basically showing someone techniques that do not thread themselves together. And when you look at the peekaboo, you're thinking, what makes it the peekaboo? Well, in this series of It's Time to Box, that's what you're gonna learn, that it's just not all about doing like this, because that's not the peekaboo. As I spoke specifically last time on the show, that started out as this, the jab, became the reason the peekaboo was innovated. Utilizing the techniques, jabbing, coming back to sender, and when you do it so well, and I'm talking the fundamentals, and that's what you're gonna learn here. That's where it starts to take shape and look like something much more amazing. So I hope that you guys are really taking down some notes that we're not just here to do something temporary. We're gonna take you to an entirely different stratosphere in this year right here. Now, after these skills, I hope that there was an immense takeaway for you. Our focus this year is to take care of our customers and those who are following just to learn. We don't wanna just lay it out there. We wanna make sure that it's a complete package so it truly gives you benefit and that's what our focus was going into this year. And we hope that the way that we are delivering it to you, that it's advantageous to you. That's our only focus this year is to make sure that the customer experience is out of this world. So if you liked some of those drills and you could use them, take the time to subscribe because this entire compilation of skills training will be on our website for our subscribers. So, so that you guys can see how important you are to us. So. Everyone wants to feel like you're a part of something large. And we like to think that we've done our part to make sure that you're educated in the right way. Now, for those of you who are subscribing, welcome. It's time to take and kick the year off on an entirely different level. Back to the topic at hand. There's a couple of good nuggets here for you. And we like to send our shout out to some special individuals. Let's work. So I hope you're on for the ride. Uh, for those of you who have taken the time to be on the page and like our page, 
and study the flow of our page, whether it's fitness, whether it's food, whether it's boxing, or just basic insight on how to operate and what you do on a daily basis. We appreciate you. And for those who you who have not followed, make sure you take the time. If you like to learn in a method in which you can actually process it, make sure you subscribe or like the page. The website is for you to continue to learn. As you go back into this lesson, you're learning how to make your jab so profoundly beautiful that it's like you're doing a style or shade of the peekaboo, but it's just that you're mastering the science. So remember, do this when you get home or if you're in front of your computer, bend those knees, sit down in your stance after you bend the knees, hands up high, elbows in tuck, chin is down, all right? Protect those temples, sway on the balls of your feet and throw the jab and you'll see how Boom, everything starts to talk and it takes muscle memory. So, only practice that makes you better is perfect practice. Take these tips, utilize them, and be ready for next week as we stack onto the lessons and the necessities inside of the jab on It's Time to Box. Once again, like it, subscribe to it, if you want more, we're here for you. Special shouts out to Power Hands. No, this is not sponsored, but what we want to do is bring awareness to things that are good for you, that you can utilize, that improve your entire offensive and defensive prowess, your training experience. And once again, special shouts out to Power Hands for all of you who are continually asking Power Hands. And this is where we train. And I always train with purpose. Master Boxing signing out. Until next time, be blessed at God's speed. And I'll see you soon on It's Time to Box. So long. There's nothing more beautiful than the fundamentals of boxing. Peace.